Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go through the different team transport series from Hot Wheels. Um, I've managed to accumulate all the different ones um, up to this date. Uh, there's only one exception to that, the Supreme model I don't have, but that was kind of a separate release. It wasn't really a main Hot Wheels release. Um, so, so far there's been 11 releases and I'll go ahead and take a closer look and I've opened I think three of them so far. Um, so they're not in the package, but the rest are in the package. And I'll take a quick look at each one real quick and then I'll open them up and we can line them up and take a look. So first released from Hot Wheels in the Team Transport series, you can see the number one in the corner of the package. This is the Porsche 356 Speedster and the Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup. And this is actually the smallest one so far. Um, so there's the car art in the background, looks real nice. That's number one. And the second release was from the Gretti packaging, and this was the Sakura Sprinter van and the Nissan Laurel. Then third is also opened already. This was the Skyline van. We'll look at it a little closer later. And release number four was the 72 Plymouth Cuda funny car with the retro rig. And this is the famous Snake Don Prudhomme paint scheme. Doesn't really want to zoom in too well right now, but uh, once we get it open, we'll get a better look. There it goes. Um, so that's a very good looking car and hauler as well. And you know, there's the nice image in the background as well, all the artwork. And kind of the mirror of this one is the Plymouth Duster funny car with the retro rig. So these two kind of competed against each other in the 60s. And this one was Tom McEwan's car. So again, similar artwork in the background. And that's release number five. Then number six was the Momo Porsche. And the transporter for this, what was this one called? This is the Fleet Flyer is the name of this one. And they've used this several times already, but this is the first release of that model. And then the Momo Porsche next to it. And now we'll move on to release number seven. This is the 66 Supernova with a retro rig. And again, this is the same transporter like the drag cars had. Again, nice artwork in the background. And this is one of the few releases. The Supernova actually hasn't been released um, too many times so far in this kind of premium packaging. So um, this is a nice model to collect as well. And release number eight was the JDM Legends. He's on Skyline 2000 GTX and the Sakura Sprinter once again. And nice artwork in the background there. Number 9 is the 71 Datsun 510 with the Fleet Flyer. That's the BRE Datsun livery, so Brock Racing. And you can see the car in the background, number 68. And now number 10, the Mercedes-Benz 190E and Fleet Flyer. And again, similar kind of background, it's on a racetrack. And then the final release so far is going to be number 11. This is the Nissan Fairlady Z with Sakura Sprinter. So we'll go ahead and open all these up and we can just take a look at them real close side by side and uh, see what we think. Okay, so I've arranged them kind of by the type here. So first it's going to be the Volkswagen T1 Transporter. As I said, it's the only version of that so far that I know of. Uh, then we have the carry-on, which also is the only one that's been that way so far. And then we'll start the team transport series. So first is going to be the snake truck. Then the mongoose in the red. Then the black hole Nova team transport. Then we have the fleet flyers will be next. And starting with the Momo Porsche. Then we have the Bree Dotson. Then we have the Falcon Fleet Flyer. And next we'll have the Sakura Sprinter vans. So starting with the JDM Legends truck. Then we have the Nissan Transporter. And last we have the Gretti. And here's kind of a lineup of all the trucks together. So they're all very nice pieces, um, quality you know, rail rider tires on the cars and the transporters. Um, nice paint schemes. Magnus Walker, Advan, the 
classic 60s drag racing schemes. Um, the black hole, I think, is kind of a made up, but it's sort of in a, you know, like an old drag school, drag racing scheme from the 60s. Um, then Momo was kind of racing, you know, the BRE is a racing Falcon. So lots of racing paint schemes in these. So anyway, just thought I'd get a quick review of these. Um, I'm, there's others on the internet, so I'm not going to go real into depth on this. Um, but just wanted to show that, I, you know, kind of the lineup of them all together. And kind of excited, you know, to see the next releases. I'm sure there'll be more coming soon. I'm going to try to start uploading a little more regular than I have been. Um, I'm also going to be working on this uh, kind of diorama area here for displaying. I'm going to have an S-scale train track in the middle. I kind of mentioned this a while ago, but um, the basic layout's going to be, you know, buildings in the background, and then I'm going to have a street going through the middle here. And so I'll probably start working on that as well. And right now this is kind of the Mopar garage area. Um, you can see it's, you know, there's the graveyard cars, uh, green light challenger. Then we've got a Christine, that's actually an auto world. And then we have a green light, I believe, uh, blue charger from the movie, Christine. Then there's the kind of uh, unrestored version. And then there's the Joe Dirt Superbird. It's also a green light. And then over here at the Pure Oil gas station, it's another green light building. We have the two-lane blacktop GTO. And this is just kind of a uh, primer-looking 55. Let's see if I move these transporters out of the way here. Um, it's not actually exactly the same as the movie two-lane blacktop, but kind of similar. Um, I may try to make an actual more legit movie version of it at some point. Kind of, It's kind of a gasser style if you guys have seen the movie. Um, those are there. That's kind of the muscle car garage right now. And then over here we have the BRE Dotson uh, Weekend Workshop. And so that's kind of going to be like the import area. So we kind of have different sections of town now. And then over here is, you know, got the Fast and Furious cars and a few others. Actually, I actually think those are all Fast and Furious cars at the moment. But they're kind of stashed in next to the uh, breed dealer, all the imports. So anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so so you don't miss any future videos. I may try to do some videos on just building the uh, diorama as well. Um, that should be kind of fun. I don't think it'll take too long, so um, I may try to do that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.